Hi guys! Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you guys about deployment care packages. Um, a lot of the information where I got my deployment care packages information from was another YouTuber who's an army wife and her name is um, Sophia Alejandro 9. I think that's her YouTube um, name or whatever. But she has great info on doing deployment care packages. So, as I told you guys before, my husband ha is deployed to Afghanistan. He's been there for almost three months now. And I have sent him two packages already. The first one was just a bunch of snacks or whatever. It wasn't anything interesting. The second one was this really thick, like really big, huge um, History of the Army book. And there was nothing special about that either. <laughs> So I decided to do a video on this one just to show you more variety of type of stuff that I get for him. And what I do is that I pretty much accumulate a bunch of stuff like over time. Like every time I go grocery shopping or I go shopping, I'm sorry, I'm getting the stuff out of the box. Um, that's how I build up what I'm getting him out for his boxes. So I don't just buy all this stuff at one time. So anyway... First of all, a little care package one-on-one -on -one and sending them. Um, you want to go to your local post office. I go to the post office on post. And you want to get a bunch of the flat rate boxes. And pretty much those boxes come in all different sizes. And you can stuff them and then um, you send it for one price. So what I do is I go to the... Um, post office ahead of time and I get all my materials that I'm going to need so that I can do my boxes at home and not have to stand in a long line when I go to the post office. So the fact, this one is a large flat rate box. I mean, it's pretty much a box or whatever. Um, so I just have a bunch of those at home already. Also, you're going to need some tape. So you want to go ahead and get the tape that they have there. The um, packing or shipping is called clear mailing tape. And also, you want to get the mailing labels ahead of time so you can go ahead and fill them out. And you also have to fill out a customs form. So the custom forms usually look like this. They're carbon copied. Um, they're something like that. And what you want to do is when you first go to the post office to do this, you want to try to um, get someone at the post office to help you fill it out so that you know how to do it when you're at home and just use it as a copy or an example. So, now what, I put, what I'm putting in his box this time. I'm trying to make this video quick or whatever. So, I've accumulated a lot of stuff. So, I will start with oatmeal. So I try to get send him lots of snacks and foods that he can eat in his room. Let's say he don't feel like going to the DFAC and he can just eat stuff in his room. So oatmeal was one of his requested items. He doesn't really like a lot of junk food, so I try to get stuff as healthy as I can. He also asked for some bowls. So I got this set of three bowls from Walmart for like a dollar. So these are bowls he can use in a microwave because he does have a refrigerator and a microwave in his room. Um, I got him some nuts because he likes these for a snack I got these I got from the dollar store these are just wipes um, that you know he can use or carry around with him um, some Mike and Ike's these were on sale at the um, excuse my nails or whatever they look terrible but these were on sale at the commissary a few weeks ago and I had more but the kids and I ate them I know that's horrible um, I also got him some fruit snacks. These are the fruit snacks I usually buy my kids. And he's usually the one eating them all. So we got some fruit snacks. Also from the dollar store. I know this is really cheesy. But he loves the movie um, Wreck-It Ralph. So I got him this Wreck-It Ralph word search book from the dollar store. I got him some protein bars. Because he likes to have protein bars. Um, I got him a twin pack of deodorant because um, where he's at, I think the PX is closing down. So it's hard for him to get items like that now. So I got that for him. So that's why he requested these two. He likes to swift for his room because it gets really dusty. And then he wanted some more um, dish, some detergent to clean his clothes. I got him face wash. I went ahead and got him two of them so that he'll have enough. And he asked for some smelly goods, as he called them, for his room. And then, also, 
I got him. I'm sending him some books. Um, he likes to read anyway, and we're always the type of people who like to improve individually. We like to improve as parents, as um, a married couple. So we're always trying to read things to improve, improve ourselves. So I picked up some books. I actually get these books from work. Um, we give them out to um, soldiers and families. So my boss said it was fine because I am a military spouse as well. So I got him some books. This one is Screen Free Parenting. Um another parenting book this is kind of like a parenting book or whatever this one is for like families um yeah so those are some books that i got him and i usually send him some like on marriage too just so that we're always improving ourselves oh and the last thing that i'm sending him i forgot about this this is something that i purchased um i think maybe from like target or something right before he left and pretty much what it is is our little deployment book of notes um the kids and i have been putting notes and pictures um i'll show you my four-year-old drew this one <laughs> so we've been doing like notes and pictures anytime we're thinking about him we'll write him a note draw him a picture or something uh, and we've been doing this since he left so we have not filled it up yet so the idea is to kind of fill it up and send it to him but what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to send it already for what we've already written in here and just write in there to tell him to um, he can write some for a few months and then send it back and we'll just keep going back and forth until we get it full and it's just something that uh, we can communicate with him and the kids like doing it a lot of times after they're done with their homework they're like oh let me write daddy a little note so that's one of our deployment ideas all right so that's all i have if you have any questions just put it in the um comment section if you have any like ideas for videos or questions about um deployment or army life just let me know and i will get to that and don't forget to follow me on facebook and instagram which are both fit natural bell and also subscribe hit that like button see you guys later bye